It is ESPN2 Friday night, BYU versus SMU. Right now, look at the Wager Talk live odd screen. We've seen a fair bit of BYU money this morning. This was 12 last night, 11 and a half last night. Now I'm seeing 10 slash 10 and a half for SMU as home favorites. Total 55, 55 and a half in this ballgame. And pardon my language, but SMU took a fuck ton of money on the opening night in Nevada, really. There were two betting groups that were warring it out for a while. One of them had as much as they wanted, and the other group just kept betting more SMU, all the way up to minus 28. They only scored 29 points. Needed a big fourth quarter rally just to win the game at all. Hard to cover minus 28 when you only scored 29. That said, they put together a big fourth quarter rally, both sides of the football, to win a season opener in a tough road environment. Even though they never sniffed a cover, I view that as a positive for SMU. Last week, it was 42-7 to seven at the half against Houston Christian. Not that Houston Christian could play with them, but it was SMU showing what they could do, 7 yards per carry, 10 yards per pass attempt. You know, this is a team that won 11 games last year in the, uh, you know, uh, ACC ready. Rhett Lashley went 5-1 and one ATS's home chalk last year. You know, offensively, they scored 37 points per game or more each of the last five years. And boy, they have elite speed. I see BYU with significant problems defensively against SMU speed in this ballgame. But I do have questions for SMU about their defensive front and their secondary. We saw that in the game against Nevada. Now, BYU is coming off a 5-7 and seven season. You know, Kalani Sitake is, again, predicted to be near the bottom of the Big 12 again this year. Since 2020, they're just 3-6 and six ATS, the road dog. That being said, they did pearl an early season upset last year against Arkansas as a road dog. Turned out Arkansas wasn't any good either, but at the time we didn't know that. That said, last year on the road, they allowed 31 at Arkansas, then 38, 44, 35, 37, and 40. Yikes. You know, 40 did come in double overtime. It was actually only 13 after third quarter, but the defense fell apart late. BYU just lost, looked just fine in their tune-up game against Southern Illinois last week. Jake Retzklaff, the new starting quarterback, he played in four games last year. They went 0-4 in those games. 1-0 this year. More than 11 yards per pass attempt. BYU's totals, they're still deflated. The offense fell apart last year. Now they have a quarterback. They're big up front, really big. They're playing a team that can score and a team that has some defensive questions. I like the over in this ballgame. 55, the current prevailing number, 55 and a half. Up to 56, I think it's very reasonable to get involved. We can expect a high-scoring affair on Friday night. Look for SMU and BYU over. And, of course, if you want to take advantage, starting tomorrow, Tuesday, September 3rd, three-day all-sports, all-access pass, <laughs> only 49 bucks. Get that right now or get that starting tomorrow, I should say, starting on Tuesday at Wager Talk.